We're working for you with continuous team coverage of the tragedy at the air show. Now underway the investigation into what caused that plane to crash on Saturday, killing wing walker Jing Wicker and her pilot Charlie Schwenker. The lead investigator for the National Transportation Safety Board says the preliminary report should be out sometime this week, but that will be sketchy. The final report, we're told, could take up to a year. Pam Elliott of 2 News Investigates started questioning investigators on Saturday. She dug deeper into what's happening now as the search for answers really heats up. Pam? Well, Mark and Katie, I just got off the phone about a half hour ago with the coroner's office and found out that the cause of death for both was multiple trauma due to an accident. Now, as far as investigators working out here at the airport, the airport director told me that he believed the chief investigator, Jason Aguilera, would be wrapping up things here within the next 24 hours and would leave the Dayton area. Now, in the meantime, Two News Investigates has been working for you. We've been digging up pilot and plane documents, as you see here, blowing in the wind this evening. But here's what we've been able to find out about the plane that you saw on Living Dayton on Friday. It was a fixed-wing single-engine plane built in 1941. It was registered to Jane Wicker of Bristow, Virginia. The FAA registry showed the plane's current certificate was not to expire until April 2016. Now, an FAA spokesperson told me that's like registering your car. It doesn't tell us much. Unfortunately, maintenance records are not made public, so we're going to have to wait for the NTSB investigation. But more than likely, this plane was checked thoroughly at least once a year. Now, both Jane Wicker, Charles Schwanker were certified commercial pilots. The only medical restriction that it appears was on Schwanker, the one piloting the plane on Saturday. He was to wear corrective lenses. The FAA was on scene at the time of the crash, but it is up to the NTSB to update the investigation. Today, Two News spoke with the general manager of the air show about safety in general. I think in the preliminary reports from, um, you know, and, and we have FAA monitors on site during the entire air show event, including the setup, all the practices, and what they're looking at is, is there are set guidelines as an aerobatic box or the setback as to how, how close a performer can fly. To the crowd line um, and how far out and so that they're in a sterile environment meaning that if they have a problem like we experience that they stay in that box and that there's no um, there's no danger to the spectators that are at the event Again, the NTSB says it could be up to a year before the entire investigation is complete, looking at human element, machine element, and environment. And, of course, Two News investigates looking at all three factors as well for you tonight. Reporting live from the Dayton International Airport, Pam Elliott, Two News Investigates.